Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. Parts day. Parts day for mostly for Islanders. There's one part that'll fit um, SKX watches in general. But you know, when the precursor to Islander watches was me getting into the parts market um, to modify SKXs and stuff, and obviously the whole idea kind of snowballed with the discontinuation of the SKX, and then the Islander brand was born. And then once the Islander brand started up, I realized people still want to mod even Islanders. So we started with part, you know, so like the kind of parts thing kind of kept going. Today I've got two, three, four parts to show you. Uh, two bezels, um, one insert, and one bracelet. They are, um, the bezels are going to be for your Islander, Sarb Justs or whatever, and then the insert is a straight SKX insert, and the bracelet is for the Sarb SKX, uh, Sarb Linder also. Very confusing. So, one of the watches that I'm wearing today is going to be uh, featured in the video. This is the ISL 39, but I have put on a smooth bezel, okay? I know many of you want to see this also on an Oyster. So I sell the watch on fluted bezel with the jubilescent bracelet. <laughs> oh my goodness, my other wrist is um, ISL 02 with... Um, cool elastic strap that I'm selling now. Um, where was I <laughs> talking about this guy? Uh, so a lot of people have asked, so it came with the fluted bezel on it and people say, oh, well, you know, you gotta offer smooth. So I'm selling the parts so you can make it smooth. I'm not gonna sell the watch with the smooth bezel installed. Um, the main reason is that I just, the part numbers of Islanders will just become infinite. Um, if every time I make a small change or make a part, I offer it that way. I don't want to. I, I don't want to keep growing like that. Um, it's going to artificially increase the um, the skew count, um, and then not to mention all the stocking and inventory and tracking that we have to do um, in 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 the back end of the business. Um, so if you do order one of these parts that I'll show you today, everything except the bracelet. You know, we don't, we don't do it for bracelets. Um, we do send you a form. Um, and it goes to a watchmaker that we deal with um, in the U.S. that can do the installation for you. So it's just a recommendation you don't have to use them. Um, but, you know, no matter where you are in the country, you can get it done because the mail goes everywhere. Anyway, let's check out these uh, four new parts. So I think we'll start with the simplest change. Um, I've got a new bezel insert. Um, it's an SKX 007 sized insert, but it's not flat, it's sloped. So what I'm holding here in front of you is the ISL 67, that waffle dial samurai case Islander um, with the blue ceramic insert. And what I did was I went ahead and I changed the insert to this new insert that we're selling. This is an embossed stainless steel insert. Um, this is not ceramic like you find on the ISL 18. This is actually steel, so it's only 25 bucks. Um, embossed, it is matte on the bottom, polished on the numbers. It is, so this is where you need to know, it is 1.4 millimeters thick at, don't mind this ding by the way, these are, this is a, um, <laughs> this watch was used for some other things. Um, it's 1.4 millimeter, th 1.4 millimeters thick at the inside, and then it is one millimeter thick on the edge, okay? Really transforms the look of the watch, though. Look at that. I never would have thought to go with a steel insert on a, on a waffle dial, and this, to me, my, man, this is beautiful. So again, this just won't fit the Islander Samurai. It'll fit any SKX 007 sized bezel that you have. You just want to be mindful of the type of crystal that you're pairing it with. You want something with a little bit of a dome to it, with a little bit of an edge thickness to it, such that it, um, it matches up at the side a little bit better. Okay, so that's it for that guy. Let's put this aside and get into, uh, I guess, the next, compli next less complicated thing. Okay, so you've may, you may recall the ISL 37, the Salmon Dial Islander with the smooth bezel, was on a, um, a multi-link bracelet much like one of these, right? This is how the 37 was produced with this kind of bracelet. Um, a lot of you clamored for this style of bracelet. Um, this is what the ISL 85 is on. So I'm now making this O style bracelet, okay? It'll fit the ISL 36, 37, 38, and 39. Okay, all of those it will not fit Sarbs, it won't fit Rolexes or any of that stuff. It only fits this case watch. Solid link, 
solid end link sized with screws, three position micro adjust scissor clasp. Okay. So this is a bracelet. Uh, it's 59 bucks, and you can, I guess, it change the look of, um, well, you can put it on this guy if you want, right? And we'll get into this one next. Okay, so here I've got um, an old ISL 36 smooth bezel on this bracelet, and an ISL 39, which was done with the fluted bezel and the multi-link bracelet. So people, of course, started asking me, can I get this with fluted and this with smooth? So I went ahead, much like I did with um, the Seiko 5 dress watches, um, the uh, Dress KX, I went and had um, the bezel. Obviously, I didn't have the manufacturer. I was already making them for these. So I just got spares. So I have a B18-P. Look how that glitters, huh? And then B19-P. Oh, excuse me, B18-P and B19-P. They're 29 bucks each. They come with all the gaskets. This is not like changing the bezel on an SKX where you pop it off and pop it on. Just note that on these, the crystal is held in this bezel. So if I zoom in, this has two gaskets on it. They're white, but bet, uh, crystal goes in on this side and then this side is pressed into the case, okay? So this whole bezel comes off the crystal comes with it. I'll link to my Seiko 5 video where I showed you kind of how to do this. Um, it's, um, I would say it's, it's somewhere be, somewhere around replacing a crystal on an SKX. Kind of that difficulty. These bezels actually come off, just like on the, on the 5 kicks, they come off pretty simple. It's pretty simple. It's got to get a tool under here, a, a case back knife, and just kind of pry it, and the whole thing pops out. But if you don't have another crystal, which you probably won't, you need to transfer the crystal from the bezel in the watch to here and then press this into the case. Or press this into the case and put the crystal on. Whatever you want to do, you can choose to remove the movement first. Totally up to you. But let's see what it looks like, right? So let's, um, so I've got some, some example samples here. This is the stock ISL 36. This is... This is actually a prototype ISL 36 that we made with the fluted bezel. Um, this isn't exactly 100% of the production watch. A little, a little smudgy there, sorry. Um, you will notice that, oh, look at that, I had a plastic on here like a meathead. Um, the logo is not applied and some other changes. This is an, an old prototype. Um, we don't sell this exact model. Um, but you can see what happens when you change from smooth bezel to a fluted bezel. Same bracelet. So this looks... This looks really, really sharp. So then likewise, you guys said to me, hey, Mark, that ISL 38 and 39, which have the fluted bezel, 38 is the blue dial, 39 is that anthracite dial. <laughs> Zoom in a bit. Um, you said, hey, give me a smooth bezel for that. And I said, of course I'll do that for you. So I have delivered, and I did it actually on one that I have here. Here you go. This would probably look really nice on that O bracelet that I showed you a minute ago, but um, this is one that we have here that um, I've kind of been wearing a, a little bit. I figured why not try the swap on this guy. So what do you think? Um, probably this on this bracelet, right, would be killer. That's probably what a lot of you are going to say. Um, so I could do it if I want, but I just wanted to really show you what the brace, what the watch looks like with the smooth bezel. Um, my original when I originally went through the designs, um, 36, 37, 39, my idea was that the, um, sorry, I'm losing my train of thought, that the uh, f f shiny, uh, shiny dials, excuse me, sunburst dials go with fluted bezels, flat dials go with smooth, and that's the way I did it. Um, but then I realized that, well, you know what? Maybe we can change it up a little bit because sometimes things just look better you know, when you finally see them in person. So that's it. So ISO 39 with smooth bezel. I do think yeah, that's definitely, definitely it. So there we go. This has been Mark from longoutwatch.com showing you three, four, excuse me, four new Islander mods. Um, bezel insert, bracelet, bezel, and bezel. Please like the video. If you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so. Questions or comments, put them down below. And I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.